And as a matter of fact, the first time I actually even saw a penis was at Kmart. And it was some strange man's penis. And um, my mother, we were at Kmart. My mother was shopping for shoes for my little brother. And she had left me in the little girl's section. Actually, it was the women's high heel section to go get shoes for my brother. And I remember I was trying on a pair of ladies' high heel shoes. And I was like, whoa, I'm, like, I'm Cinderella. And I, it was most, the most exciting thing to wear high heeled women's shoes. And this man came over to me. and. Um, he had mirrored sunglasses on and like little shorts and he bent down and he slid his hand down a pair of pants and and even though he had on those mirrored sunglasses I could just I could see his eyes looking at me still and his penis was just hanging out and I remember looking at it and it was the ugliest thing I had ever seen I I couldn't I had no idea what it really even was and I was but I could feel that sexual I was scared I, and I started crying. And as soon as I started crying, he, he was happy and he smiled and he went away. And I remember I was like, oh God, this is what it's all about. This is what men are. And to compare that with that wonderful feeling that I had by myself, I knew then I had to s kind of separate the two. You know what I mean? Because it is a very intimate thing and especially as a child when you're just discovering yourself and and you ha you know eventually you're going to have to be confronted by that masculine conquering behavior and it sort of rapes you without even touching you because it, it takes away your trust and and your happiness and your and your um your openness you know it's hard to be open and, and feel good about yourself and come when you can't trust anybody ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Ba-dum-ba-dum-ba-dum Ba-dum-ba-dum-ba-dum ba